Now then, so what are we doing today? Um, well, we've dished out quite a few more of the uh, the drawing bags, so I thought I'd better do a few videos that are just concentrating on drawing. Uh, and the first ones will be sketching. Um, well, this one in particular is sketching. They're not all going to be sketching, so don't panic if you're not into sketching. Um, uh, yeah, and it's it's just to make life a little bit easier, and it's making a viewing frame. Uh, and the idea behind these is that uh, it's it's to help composition. So if I'm I'm looking about and I can think, oh yeah, that looks better there. But if I move it down here, oh, it looks a bit better. It saves you having to draw it twice because you're looking at it. Also helps if you're if you're into photography as well, doing you know getting a, a nice little frame. Um, now. Uh, this is for the drawing books. This is why this is this size. So if you've got one of these, the idea is that it's um, it goes it goes underneath like that. So so later on, I've, I've filmed me making this. So I'll, I'll put a speeded up version on of this so you can see that working. Um, and then we also have a little one, and this is a, this is a post-it notes underneath. So obviously. It's exactly the same size as the post-it nut. So I just drew around the post-it nut and I cut that out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, to do this, uh, not particularly very slowly because it's quite easy to do. Um, but I've, I've filmed myself making this one and um, I'll put that on, speed it up so you can see the whole process, but I'm just going to talk you through it now. So what you need is a piece of card uh, nice good solid piece of card. I mean you can make it with uh, This type of card, you know from a cereal box if you've got a bit big enough This isn't big enough because I was trying to make it out of this and it's a little bit too small. So um, Never mind So yeah, if uh, uh, a sheet of paper It just needs to be a bit bigger. So first thing we'll do Is is chop that off there. So where's my pencil? Uh, now don't worry about this being too exact, you know, it's just got to be roughly there. And then the next thing to do is get your book, put it on the top, get it nice and roughly in the middle, and then just draw around it. Right, so what you've done is you've drawn around there. Now, we, if we cut that out, that's gonna be quite, quite thin, but we have to keep the ratio the same. So what I generally do, or what I did with the other one, was I just measured in a centimetre. But with this one, I'm going to make this one a little bit different because I'm making another one. So I'm just going to measure a, an inch. And I always get told off for mixing up my centimetres and inches and stuff. But I'm, I'm of the age when I was taught at school, I started off with inches and then moved on to centimetres. So it doesn't matter to me, I can use both. Um, but whatever feels good for you, that's the thing. Okay, so that's the bit we need to cut out. So the easiest way to cut that out is with a knife is with a knife and just cut cut that out. If you don't have a knife, you can use a pair of scissors. And I'll show you what I mean. So come in from the side. Now, the problem is we've got a, a gap. So you can either tape it up this because it doesn't really matter what your frame looks like or you can
can. Cut a piece of card. Get some glue. Because this is quite thick card, you need to put a lot of glue on there. And then glue that over your patch there. That way, keeps it nice and uh, nice and solid. So I've done both, just to show you. But you can either just put the tape on, or you could stick something on. Or you could just leave it loose. It's not going to be uh, the end of the world, to be honest. Um, and then, that's it. That's as simple as that. So let's go on to the... Uh, now, uh, no, we won't go on to the other stuff. I'm going to tell you... One of the reasons I've made this a little bit smaller is because it's a little bit more telephoto, which means I'm closer in. Now, if I bring that closer to my face, I can see more but I can't draw on the pad. But if I take that feather away, uh, I'll do it like this. If I take that feather away, I can see less, but I can draw. And you want to be a nice comfortable, so if, you, if your arms are just like this, and just do your drawing. Okay, that's about it. So I'll show you all the other bits. Okay, and there is the uh, the little, it's my wife's denim jacket hung on the uh, washing line. She did have it hung the other way around, but then she's changed it so it's more in the sun. So that's the fence and then the jacket. Okay, right, so one of the things that you didn't see when I was making it was I've, I've just marked the middle of each side. So I know where the middle is, obviously I'll know where the corners are because it's uh, it's there. Now... The idea is that I hold that up and what I can see is the camera and the tripod holding that up and my bookshelf at that side and the windows behind and stuff. Now if I just put the camera right in the middle, that looks really boring. But if I just pull it to one, sa one side, it's a, it makes it a little bit more interesting because there's a bit more, I can see a bit more of the bookshelf. And if I bring it down a little bit, I can see a bit more, I've got like a handle there of the tripod. So, um, whereas if you bang it straight in the middle, it doesn't look as good and that's kind of you can just go around with this you don't need to, to be drawing you can just you can just go and think all oh, right yeah yeah if i was doing a picture there of that it'd look better that way if i could uh if i draw it that way and like oh yeah actually yeah my camera would look better that way and uh oh yeah if i was taking that lamp it would yeah instead of doing it like that if i tilted it it looks better i've got i've got a spot on my eye now i've been looking at the lamp uh, um, and that's what this is for. It's to uh, it's to look. It's to get you. It's to get you seeing things in in a frame. So whether you're taking a photo or whether you're drawing or whatever, it makes it makes a lot of sense to uh, to practice with a with a little frame. Uh, now, obviously, the further the closer I have it here, I can see virtually everything in the room. Whereas I need to hold it sort of at that sort of level which is comfortable for me. So that's, that's like a wide angle lens really. Whereas the smaller ones, these are a bit more telephoto. So if I'm looking there at, at the camera, I only really get the camera in. Whereas if I'm looking at it with this one, well, I'll do it that way. If I'm looking at it with this one, I'm getting loads of my desk and the camera and, and everything. But if I get it a bit closer, I get less and less. But obviously I can't really draw at arm's length. So, so if you want to, to have a more close-up look, you just cut a smaller hole. What's important is that you keep it... So I, I just drew a centimetre in all the way around and that keeps the, uh, the format the same. So I can draw that a little bit bigger on there because 
I can, you know, I don't have to draw a centimetre in all the way around and try and draw it exactly the same. Um, I can draw it to the full size. So if you've done it two or three centimetres in, so you've got a smaller hole, it's the same again. You can do it to the same size of the piece of paper. The ratio of the paper is still the same. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing. Um, and I'm going to do it like this. Now, unfortunately, if I do it like this so the camera can see up there, then all I'm looking at is the desk. So I have to hold it like this so I can see what I'm looking at. So that was only a very, very quick sketch. I think it only took me, uh, you know, five or ten minutes, maybe not maybe not 10 minutes but um but yeah so that's what i'm looking at i'm looking at uh, my camera i think that's got a little bit more of a bigger screen than that there we go and obviously once you've got it to this stage then you can start tidying it up a little bit you don't need to keep keep your frame on all the time you can uh, you can start tidying that up a little bit and you can spend as much time on it as you like and i think this is this is a good point to uh to say that uh, one of the things when people are drawing, I'll look at the camera for this. So one of the things when people are drawing is the thing they've got to rush, the thing they've got to get it finished and it's got to be, uh, you don't, take your time. There's, uh, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of brilliant artists out there, but you've just got to take your time to do something. Don't think you've got to get it finished right away. You haven't. It's your drawing, you can take your time. So think about what you're doing, what the composition is, and then do a little drawing. So um, thanks for viewing, viewer.